<laughs> Isn't it just a grand old thing when these old classic movies come back to the big screen? By Sega. Oh. Is this the one about that blue hedgehog again? I can't stand him. <laughs> oh, Goofy. Don't you remember? This is a movie about me, Mickey Mouse, huh? I don't follow. Yeah, we do this game. The Illusion series is Ooh. something else. So much so that sometimes not even one dive into the madness is enough. No, now we must do two. Because honestly, well, it's a new era for us, I'd like to think. It's 2020 after all, so welcome to our reattempt at Disney's Castle of Illusion remake, starring Mickey Mouse. This was around the time when like the Ducktales thing was a big. Th they're all mm -hmm. they're kind of Disney was kind of doing a lot of good revamps, and I hope they continue yeah. that trend. Well, who knows? But yeah, the, uh, for those that are not in the know, yeah, this is a remake of the old Sega Genesis game. However, unlike the DuckTales remake, this remake is a lot more extensive, and you'll see how as we start off with our lovely opening cutscene. It should also be said real quick, ladies and gentlemen, that um, I ran into a bit of a snafu while recording this game because uh, it should be said that unlike last time, I'm actually recording the, P the PC version, which is all runs a lot smoother. But when trying to record it off a of bandy cam, uh, the gra the graphics for the intro cutscene glitched, so I had to rely on the footage uh, footage from good old YouTube here. And well, gotcha. that's Ooh. why you'll see subtitles here, but not el anywhere else. Oh, uh, understood. Okay. Whoa. Hmm. Oh. oh, and yeah, and as we already no. made a joke on the first part, this is I like to imagine the uncanny universe is that this is Sully reading a bedtime story to Nathan Drake. <laughs> I thought I thought you were about to say to his grandkid, but I think it would be more appropriate if it was Nathan. Sully, Sully with grandkids? Sully, <gasps> help me! The old crone had always been jealous of the mouse's beauty. Man. Oh come on, this again! And get, yes, that she totally doesn't look like the evil witch from Snow White, which was some um, with some bitchin' eyeliner game here. And I'm yeah. also just and I'm also just thinking like, wow, how low is your self esteem when you think a mouse is prettier than you? But it's the most recognizable. It's one of the most recognizable mice in existence. I know. Mickey, why are you standing there? We're going so slow. Save me! No, I can't. My feet are stapled. <laughs> you, see, you actually see Mickey's like model wiggle like I can't I'm painted thick <laughs> I've tried to save my girlfriend but I'm painted thick and the clump of my paint and the clump of my paint strokes <laughs> oh, anyway, no. welcome to castle whoa, whoa what? oh we just went right into it okay pretty much like a shadow from a horrible night Again, I will, I will, I will say that, like of all things, I do kind of find it amusing that for this remake they decide to, well, flaunt it with the narration of good old Sully here, mm -hmm. who also voices this old man Mouse. Yeah, uh, Richard McGongle, for those that are wanting a name to go for the IDW or the IMDb, and he voices that non-mouse mole thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, also, uh, real quick, I forgot to ask about that whole glitching thing. Was it only in the intro cinematic, or was it, or is it any other cinematics? Basically, it's any cutscene with this art style here, which is yes. only the intro and the ending. Yeah, sorry to see us already here, but still a and, and, and honestly, it's weird because, like, like when I was trying to record the whole thing, it also screwed with the recording in general because it actually slowed down my video at first. So I pretty much had to do a whole huh. retake. And completely, skip the, and completely skip all the cutscenes and whatnot. Well, uh, this, this cutscene, it's just, it's a complicated mess. But I was able to, I was able to find a workaround, and that's all that matters. Gotcha. Well, from what it sounds like, it's not even like when you're playing the game, it doesn't have anything wrong. It's just when you're recording it. Right. Exactly. Because I will say, like, if you are, if you guys want to play this game on like Steam or whatever, it's still definitely playable even with today's tech. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the bosses. So basically, if you haven't been paying attention to the plot by now, basically, it's Banjo-Kazooie. 
But done well before Banjo Kazooie was a thing. And with Mickey Mouse. Oh, and we are having some new people joining us this time around. Yep. yep uh, unlike last time, where it was the three, three, three usual schmoes and Becca. This time we it's the three usual schmoes and Jordy and Seely. Hello. Hi. Welcome to. Well, we're not quite at the castle yet. We're at the. <laughs> we're at the, <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the of the castle, just having a stroll. Yeah. yeah, just just that strut, it's like, Well, you can tell by the way I use my walk, I'm a woman's mouse, no time to talk. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh yeah. Uh, so, yeah, as we see here, this is, was this one of the first 2D platformers with Mickey, or? Oh. Um, I don't think, it was, it was definitely not the first, because I know before this we had, um, well, and I say that, when I say that, I mean the original Castle the Illusion. Mouse Beforehand we had, uh, the Mouse Capades. Or um, yeah. for the NES. Like what about uh, Epic right. Mickey? Oh, that, oh, that was, was years later. Are you sure? I thought oh, it was yeah, beforehand. Whoa, 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 no, whoa, whoa, Epic Mickey was in the. Sorry. And I'll like, say are sorry, you talking about I'm... like? Yeah, oh, no, Epic, I... Epic Mickey came out before the the remake, but after the original. Yeah, sorry, I was referring oh, to the original. Like in terms of like, was this a remake of the first ever Mickey Mouse platformer? Which no. No, but I would say I would I would probably say it's the remake of the very first good Mickey Mouse game. Because, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, Shots fired. All, the ones before, all the ones beforehand were just simple whatever games. This was the first, like, Castle Illusion was the first one that really felt like a pretty dang good video game that holds holds its own. To the point where, mm -hmm. yeah, Castle mm -hmm. Illusion, well, its entire existence again, was to help promote the Sega Genesis before Sonic was a thing. Somehow. Wow. Mm -hmm. this wasn't the Makes power. sense. And then, and and would you? I guess would you say this kind of spawned the entire illusion, like series, world, and world of illusion. Uh, the, well, since it was the, the first game, I'd imagine so. The magical, the magical quests uh, and all that. Well, magical quest is a different series. Right, that's a Capcom series. This was purely Sega, and I mean, <gasps> there's the gem master. There's the first master of illusion, looking at his priceless gem, and well, he oh. ain't he, he he ain't willing to share it with anyone else. That is something really cute that they do in this remake that was not in the originals. They had a lot more like cool little scenery things happen around if you pay attention. Oh, this is oh yeah, this is definitely like you know people talk about like aging graphics. I still think this look this is a really nice looking game. Oh yes. Oh yeah, same here. Mm -hmm. Honestly, Castle Illusion like the Castle Illusion remake. I'm almost hard pressed to even call a remake. This feels more like a reimagining more than anything because it plays almost nothing like the original, and yet it still feels kind of... It still has the same kind of whimsy that the original game did have. It's like, if you know, if you... It's like, you like right here, there was absolutely no way there was 3D in the original, but like, it, it's of one course. of those things where if you recognize the set pieces, you'll definitely... You'll, what the... Was created by no! Why? So of course, it had a mischievous... Uh, that way? Oh, oh come on! But yeah, it's Maybe definitely... It this way. No. No, oh, not again! Oh, we're running out of signposts. It's gotta be... This has to be the right way. There you are. Oh, there we go! Awesome. <laughs> so it's definitely one of those things where if you recognize the set pieces, you'll tell what they were inspired by. But yeah, it's pretty much very different. Yeah, James said, oh, and also more. just... Uh, just oh. just going on to James talking about, like, the whimsy. To further add on to the whimsiness, and to further, like, edge the parallels between Banjo and Kazooie, for this reimagining, they got Grant Kirkhope to compose all the music in this. Oh yeah! Ooh, nice! Mm -hmm. Wow! And I'll—I mean, I do think he does a pretty good job with what he was given. I'm a little hard pressed to say it's the best, superior soundtrack between it and the original game because let's just say he took a lot of creative liberties with the remake, which That's is like, fine. Like, oh, like none of these are like none of these are re recompositions. They are like a full on original songs. Uh, some some are some are, some are, re some are remixes. Others are just original songs entirely. Yeah, basically, gotcha. just for the sake of a comparison, it's kind of a somewhat similar scenario with um, Turtles in Time Reshelled, where it has a mostly different soundtrack. Oh, careful. Careful. Do okay. But yeah, I, yeah I, get, I get that then. I do miss Big Apple 3 a.m. Careful. <laughs> <laughs> just, the, the, the whole development process behind this remake is just... It, it's the stuff that's... It's the kind of stuff that just, well, what better way to put it other than it's just an anomaly in and of itself. Because, like, I know 
around the time of this game's release. Like, Castle of Illusion fans had quite a bit to look forward to. Like, there was, um, there was the Power of Illusion game, which came out a little, a little before this, and then, well, this game came and happened, and not only, and this also came around the same time when DuckTales Remastered was a thing, so it's like, Disney was on a huge retro gaming kick around this time. Yeah. I know, mm -hmm. and now all we got is Lion King with weird freaking Game Boy Rafiki. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Game Boy uh, Rafiki. Never let that go. I know. It nope. just The girls certainly won't. I do hope that they could do this, that they could do what this did for oh, What the oh, yeah. heck is that? Oh, we're small. Uh -oh. The big uh -oh. apple scene. Oh, no. Oh, oh, my God. Yeah, I, I hope that we can get other Disney games to Is have this thing. Is there a doctor in the oh, house? Because there are so many oh, great classic Disney games. I already got my tickets to Broadway Con! Now, real quick, Logan, you were saying? <laughs> get it! No, that's it. I was just saying, I just hope there could be other Disney games that could get this, because there are so many Disney games I do and genuinely enjoy, like Nightmare Ned. There was that. There was those. There were those uh, Aladdin games that we saw that, that, that were made. There oh, was... Dear. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I do know... Nice. Like, it's... Like, as far as, like, games with the original Disney characters, um, I know me and James talked about how we'd love to see the Magical Quest series get some love. I know some right. people say that, like, because it is technically within the same, air quotes, series of games, uh, Quackshot. Mm -hmm. he knew he was closer to oh, yeah, World of Illusion? Uh, yeah, the World of Illusion, definitely. Tingle, yeah. Mischief, oh. oh, no. It really is a sad thing that the developers of this remake, uh, Sega Studio Australia, closed their doors. At, yeah. Because, well, I, I think they made it clear that this was literally their last project. Because, honestly, considering how... I'd like to think this game was at least moderately successful, and, well, right. say if they were still around, I think they could totally have made a World of Illusion remake in this exact same style. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I could see it. The, the, only thing, the only thing I can think of is that, like... like if the studio did close down, I can think of one of two options. One, those employees would reform and create a whole new studio and ask for permission to do World of Illusion, or just get an entirely different team in general. You know, kind of akin to how there's some remakes that weren't handled by the original team, like Crash and Spyro. Possibly. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. oh, just as nice. long as they understood what made the games work in the first place, I'm all for it. Mm -hmm. And fix what oh. didn't work on it. Oh, oh my Oh, you. Aww. Trickster. Sticker. Oh, yeah. Dang it. Well, aren't you just a dick? Uh-huh. This Let's game likes to play you dirty sometimes. Especially, um, though, so, though some of them... Well, actually, now that I think about it, I don't think they actually had fake out ghosts in the original game, so that's... I mean, there's some things that'll definitely, that, that are definitely a nod to players of the original, but there's also things that'll fuck over uh, veterans of the game. Oh, yeah, duly um, noted, that's also don't a new thing for, that they... Yeah, don't go for the red ghosts. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I, and that's also what James picked up, a new thing that the game has. In all the levels, you'll have a bunch of little hidden collectibles. And what they do is, like, some of them will unlock, like, little bits of concept art, and some of them can actually unlock new costumes that Mickey can wear. Oh, oh. nice. In total, there's about uh, three costumes that you can unlock. Uh, the first one you can get just by beating the game is the night outfit. Mm -hmm. uh, there's one that you can get that's a safari outfit, which you get by collecting all of uh, Donald's chili peppers. Oh, ah! which, oh. which all that is basically a reference to Quackshot, the safari and chili peppers. And oh. the third one, and the third one, and the third and final costume that you can get is a magician outfit for Mickey, which you get by finding all of his playing cards. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Which that I believe is a reference to World of Illusion. Right. Uh, with all Jesus, the machine gun so applause. Badly. I know. So, uh, now, I see that you're being very careful and stuff here. How is the difficulty level of this game? Oh, this game's really not that difficult at all. Yeah. Into the clouds. It doesn't look mm. difficult, honestly. I yeah. mean, there's, there, there are some instances that can throw, throw you off, especially if you're a veteran player, but otherwise, like, this game is honestly only about as difficult as, well, honestly, about as difficult as the actual games themselves. Yeah, honestly, or it the was... originals, rather. I'd honestly say that it's kind of an instance where it's like, it's easy, but at the same time, it can be possible to be a little too cocky. Maybe, mm, yeah, understandable. with these a little bit. Uh, One I'm thing so that's sorry. definitely different about mm -hmm. the original game, or between the, this and the original game, is that um, every level in, in uh, the, the remake actually has their own subsections, which are basically Ooh. little oh. boxes, oh. which are, prime, are completely optional, but beating them will give you a neat little uh, reward. No worse for wear. Which I guess we're gonna go back to get that. Yeah, we need oh, more gems. 
Uh, so while we're doing all this, uh, hey, Seely, what do you, Seely, what did you, what do you think of this so far? It's beautiful. <laughs> it's a very nice little Mickey. Like, thing. have you ever? Uh, I feel like we might have asked this before, but I just want to ask, just for the sake of making sure she's involved. Have you ever played hmm. any of these, uh, you know, good old Mickey games growing up for stuff like you know, I have not. the original? Oh, okay. Uh, what about you, Jordan? I mean. I haven't played these games. Whoa! Whoa it's falling Whoa. down the sky. I just want to say real quick to the audience, I'm so, I'm sorry if I'm not paying all, attention all that much. I'm actually multitasking and working on homework because I'm now a full college student. Full time Aww. college student. Yay! Oh, nice. Oh, oh that's careful. They got nice two and... readies. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, and yeah, I remember it's around this bit where uh, we get a special Deep guest appearance from Miserable herself. Uh oh. Miserable taunted Mickey. Wait, what, what was her name? Miserable. And Lily, and that's it. Secretly worried about how close he was getting. Oh, she's actually secretly worried. I didn't know that. But yeah, no, the, really? literally that's all happens. She just shows up just to taunt you. That's it's like, it. Hmm. It's like, hi there. Bye there. Like, doesn't even give Bye you. There. Doesn't even give you it. Doesn't even give you any silly rhymes. Come on. <laughs> Not like Gruntelda, no. Meh. M M Miserable for all intents and purposes essentially is a prototype Grunty. Honestly, now that I think about it, like, up until the very end, she's... I know what it is. Up until... For throughout the majority of the game, she's Grunty from Banjo-Tooie, but during the final boss, and you'll see what we mean by that, she turns into Grunty from Banjo-1. And, yeah, pretty much. Oh, geez. It really makes me wonder, like, I don't know why, just now the thought came to mind of, like, if somebody could mod a ROM hack of Banjo-Kazooie where it's Mickey and Donald. Oh, that'd uh, be something. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's possible. Yeah. <laughs> just, as opposed to the, cause in the Talentron, it's just, it's like, <laughs> just going everywhere, and you're like, God, shut up. Hey, Donald, wait. I still can't understand a word you're saying. Oh, geez, Act 3. With the frights and sprites oh. of the forest behind him. Oh yes. The next part of his quest. We've now bird, reached the third act of every stage, a la Sonic. Ah, the as a boss. boss. Like all of Miserable's illusions. I spoke no for the trees. Me. Now I speak for death. Oh yeah, he does look like a Lorax tree. He does. <laughs> oh my gosh. Complete with a mustache. Can we jump on him? Or no. oh, okay, now he's rolling. Huh. Yeah. You see me rolling, rolling. Don't. Well, that's easy. Rolling, rolling, that's why I said your little performance. Oh, that's simple enough. Oh. Woo -woo -woo. Oh, yeah. that starts out simple, but um, this boss has a few more tricks up its sleeve. Yo, the be very careful. Oh. Uh oh. I'm trying to be, trying to pretending he's a licensed Goomba stomper. But can definitely oh. say, if you look at this compared to how it originally looked on the Genesis, it is night and day. Yeah, it's oh, a yeah. lot more dynamic. I will say there is a part of me that does kind of miss the original boss theme, but that's something that's fine, because I think... I might be misremembering, but can you unlock the option to have the original soundtrack playing? Yes. Oh, that's so cool. I think you unlocked that for beating the game. Oh, and watch out for the punch. Oh, jeez. Ah! Jeez. Alright, there we go. Give up the gem. And I bequeath to you a boot to the face! The red rainbow gem was finally his. Uh, you think no, he's gonna be okay over there? Ah, wasn't <laughs> Time Did to you mean? collect the time to collect the chaos emerald. Uh -huh. Thank you, uh, fellow Mickey. <laughs> chaos control. I'm sorry, fellow youngin. I believe these are called rainbow gems. They came oh, first. Fine. Actually, that these are true. rainbow gummies. Watch. <laughs> oh, shut <laughs> no, no, <it's> just... <laughs> ah, Very nutritious. Yeah, very nutritious. But yeah, no, I guess that is right. These did exist before Sonic. Jeez. Mm, yep. Well, nothing's original anymore. Nope. No kidding, huh? But, um, yeah, uh, next part, folks, we're, um, heading down to Toyland. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So the Rainbow Gems were really the Dragon Balls? <laughs>